Hi there, I'm making whipped cream tonight. Homemade whipped cream with my Pamper Chef whipped cream maker. It is so fast and simple. Literally, after you put the ingredients in, it's 30 seconds to homemade fresh whipped cream where you control all the ingredients. It's not filled with all those chemicals from store-bought whipped creams or shaker canned creams, none of the preservatives, none of the chemicals, just pure whipped cream. For myself, I always make it with a coconut milk whipping cream. This, because I'm dairy, I don't eat dairy, this is my go-to. Key to both of these is that you always have it chilled ahead of time. So your whipping cream is obviously in the refrigerator. Your coconut milk can have it chilled for at least 24 hours so it's good and cold. You also don't want the whipped cream maker to be warm. So if it's just come right out of the dishwasher, it's not going to work well for you. You need it to be at least room temperature. Some people even put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. I don't do that. I don't find that necessary. But you do want the ingredients to be chilled. Because most of you eat dairy, I'm going to show you how quick and simple it is to make it with the heavy whipping cream. Okay, This has a fill line. On it. I think if you can see this line here, you never want to fill past that. Generally, I would say about a cup of whipping cream. And there we go. A cup of that. Then the Pamper Chef recipe says one tablespoon of powdered confectioner's sugar. I find that much too sweet, and actually, with the coconut whipping cream, I don't add sweetener at all. But for this sake, just so you can see, I will add um, two teaspoons, and I have tasted it with that. I can't eat it, but I've tasted it, and to me, that's I don't want a sweet cream, so that works out perfectly. The reason you want to go with confectioner sugar, you know, the, the icing sugar, what you make your frosting with, is it has a little bit of cornstarch in it, and I think that helps stabilize the whipping cream. The next thing you want to add, or really, you can add whatever you want, but I like adding about a half a teaspoon of vanilla because I really like the flavor of a vanilla whipped cream. At this point, you know, you really can control and make this whipped cream anything that you want. So you could have cinnamon in here if you wanted a cinnamon whipped cream. You know, if you're into flavored whipped creams, you could put Bailey's in here. You could put some Kahlua, whatever you want, and just think of what that would taste like on like a, um, a flavored coffee or your hot chocolate. It just makes it so yummy. So, but here's the magic. Okay, ingredients are in. That's all that goes in here, nothing else. I put this in and I make sure that the lid is secure. Okay, simple. Then I'm just gonna press up and down. And I'm going to do this for about 30 seconds. The longer I go, the thicker it's gonna get in there so the more resistance I feel. But this also works for making the most fluffy, fluffy scrambled eggs. Um, you know, it's just fantastic. Okay, I'm feeling that resistance. Let's take a look. I know it's gonna need a little more, but I just wanna show you what stage we're at. Anytime you open this up, make sure the plunger is up, because if you open it with the plunger down, the whipped cream will go everywhere. But here, let's take a look. Okay, this is kind of a runny whipped cream, but it is whipping. You can tell it's whipping. I'm going to put that back on and keep plunging. Like I said, you can have as um, stiff a peaks as you want, but if you overdo this, you're going to get closer to butter than you are whipped cream. So do pay attention. Okay, it's starting to get really stiff. starting to feel look at that beautiful whipped cream I'm gonna try something here whipped cream isn't that beautiful so I mean literally that did not take long at all I'm gonna serve it right alongside these blueberries for my non-dairy free folks. Now think about if you were serving this just as a dessert, think about just sprinkling the tiniest bit of cinnamon over top of that. 
or you could try like some finely snipped mint leaves or something like that. And you have such a beautiful, beautiful dessert that is simple, fresh, perfect for the summer, and so quick and easy to do. So if you always keep some whipping cream in that fridge, you need a dessert, there you have it.